This is a road test of a Molex crimper, and I'm just going to go run through what was included in the road test kit from Element 14. Included was some wire to crimp the connectors onto. Also included were some connectors which fit this crimper. And Inside the crimper box were three documents. One is a illustrated guide to making crimps with this crimper. An easy step-by-step -step process. Another document here um, outlines all the different part numbers that this device can crimp. So that's pretty useful because it's not always obvious with the number of tools and connectors around what matches to what. And finally there's a document that outlines the features of the crimper, how to maintain it, and how to oil it, and how to adjust it to make ideal crimps. For example, the oiling is supposed to be done every three months or 5,000 crimps and it's just a very light oiling. Uh, and now the crimper comes in a little box here. So first of all the, the feel. Um, it obviously fits my hand really well and it's very little force to actually operate the the plastic that's the handles are made out of is fairly hard and it's a nice textured finish non-slip so that's all very nice now you can notice that the crimping jaws actually move linearly mm -hmm. as this thing is rotated as the handle is rotated, it translates that motion into a linear travel for the crimping jaws. On the back, we have a button which cannot be operated by one finger and it just gets pushed in. And what that is pushing is a locator which you insert the pins into or the sockets. Uh, and that holds them in all six axes. So it holds them X, Y, and Z and all three angles to make sure that they're precisely positioned when you're making crimps. And it just allows you to push it forward so that you have good access to actually insert the pins up to when they stop on the plastic. When you release it, it pulls the pins back into a perfect position for crimping. And that whole out um, apparatus is actually like a third hand which holds the pin while your other two hands are occupied one is going to use one is going to be doing the crimping and one is going to be holding the wire into in the pin while you're crimping it has three positions for crimping one is for 22 to 24 gauge wire one is for 20 gauge wire and one is for 26 to 30 gauge wire this crimper handles Molex's microfit line of connectors, which is a useful addition to my toolbox. Okay, one thing about this crimper that I forgot to mention is that this mechanism on the back, which allows you to operate single handedly this uh, locator apparatus, can be switched for left handed people. So you could reverse these jaws. You'd have to reverse both the jaws and the uh, locator um, spring assembly. But they can both be switched to the other side so that you could operate this with your left hand. So that's pretty useful for left-handed people. Now to adjust this thing, we can adjust the force down here, which is this little rotary dial at the, at the back but it's held in place by uh, friction because there's a lot of springs in this um, so to order to loosen it up so that you can rotate it you pull this 
this uh, this handle back and that allows it to rotate freely so that's fairly simple and um, if you do start to make a crimp and you decide well we don't need to want we don't want to do that there's a little lever in here to release the ratchet so you just push the release and it can open up without destroying the crimp that you just made so that's a pretty straightforward um, description of what it is what it looks like and how it operates now there are four different positions or five different positions for the handle here the first one second one third one fourth one and the fifth is really just you have to push it all the way in in order to release and once it's released it sweeps all the way back out it doesn't stop at the various intermediate positions a uh, very nice machine actually one thing we should mention is that these connectors have two sets of um, wings on them that get crimped onto the wire and the insulation so there's a separate set of wings to crimp the wire and a separate set to crimp the insulation and of course those are being crimped at different diameters because the insulation is a different diameter from the wire and the jaws here handle both at the same time so it does both crimping onto the wire and crimping onto the insulation in one motion so a very efficient type of operation and it allows you for precisely um, crimping both at the same time All right, so I'm going to do a quick comparison with a different type of crimper, which is just a standard lever style crimper. This doesn't have any springs or anything. It does have 12 different locations or jaws where you can crimp, which is kind of nice. It can handle all different sizes, but each one has a different mechanical advantage so, so this is a lever where the ratio of one side of the lever to the other side gives us a mechanical advantage so this one gives us in this outer position here we get a mechanical advantage of about 3.9 so if we put 3.9 pounds of force on the handles we get or if we put one pound of force on the handles we get about 3.9 pounds of force out at this position at the innermost jaw we get about 7.2 pounds uh, for every pound that we put on the handle and at the worst position down here we only get 2.3 pounds for every pound that we put on the handle so if we wanted a 45 pound crimp we would have to squeeze that with 19 pounds and that gets tiring pretty rapidly if you you have to do a lot of crimps so this device in contrast um, it has a very varying mechanical advantage as you get closer to the final crimp position you get more mechanical advantage which is when you're actually trying to bend the metal it gives you the most leverage so when it's starting out the mechanical advantage is already 7.3 but it's not really doing much at this point so it's really easy to squeeze uh, then it moves up to um, a mechanical advantage of 9 then 8.3 and it's still not really doing uh, mechanical crimping yet but here at 15.4 uh, pounds for every pound you put on the handle um, that gives you a pretty good mechanical advantage when you're starting to crimp and in the final position here we're getting a mechanical advantage of 24.6 which means that you could put 
just two pounds of force on the handle and get 48 pounds of force on your on your crimp which means you can do this all day long it's a very uh, easy handle to to get good force on the crimp so the reason why linear motion on the jaws is so important is that it provides a uniform crimp on both sides of the connector whereas with these rotating ones it's possible that one side gets a little bit different force than the other side because it's rotating as it's closing not a big difference but this is just make sure that it's actually exactly the same on both sides and you get a uniform crimp on both sides of the connector on these crimpers one thing I forgot to mention was that the jaws are only one size for e for the entire crimp so if you want to crimp the wire and the insulation which are bit different diameters you need to do it twice so you're going to be positioning it with just the part where the wire uh, is crimp being crimped and you can do the crimp and then you have to push it in further and uh, crimp the insulation separately and of course because there's some some width here uh, this doesn't really work for small connectors uh, the jaws are too wide and it will overlap either onto uh, the the connector part where you don't want any crimping or it'll overlap on the, the two sets of wings so that both the uh, insulation and, and the wire are getting crimped at the same time so this doesn't really work for all different sizes and even when it does work you have to do two crimps um, to, to, to make one uh, connection and you have to be careful because the uh, you're going to be applying uh, um, a different amount of force uh, to get a different uh, kind of crimp on the insulation and that's just going to have to be done by feel uh, whereas with this one it's done by position it actually pushes it to the perfect position so that the crimp is complete um, this one you're just crimping it as far as it goes by feel so that's the difference between a premium uh, crimper and an, a regular style crimper it just makes it a lot easier a lot more precise a lot less fiddling around and you don't and you get much more consistent crimps so next up we'll have to actually try some crimping <laughs>